VLOCK breakaway anchor installation in soil. For all VLOCK installations, you must always heed the following safety precautions. Call 811 at least three days prior to installation, so all nearby utility lines are located and marked. Follow FHWA standards as well as state and local work zone guidelines to determine if lane control measures should be used to protect personnel. Use OSHA approved safety gear including gloves, protective eyewear, and steel-toed shoes. Be sure to check out our VLOC guideline video for full details on safety precautions, orientation, location, and alignment. While a sledgehammer and TAPCO HD1 hand drive head can be used, we recommend the use of a power driver, a TAPCO PH1 power drive head, a TAPCO driver shank, determined by the chuck adapter size of your driver, a short level, preferably magnetized, a clean-out trowel, a pointed spade shovel, and a small sledgehammer. To start, attach the power drive head and driver shank onto your power driver. Place the V-shaped groove of the power drive head fully onto the V-Lock's thick angle iron leg. For manual driving with a sledgehammer, place the V-shaped groove of the hand drive head fully onto the thick angle iron leg. Dig a notch in the soil where you want to install the V-Lock. This will reduce the soil that ends up in the socket after driving, saving you time. Place the V-Lock anchor leg in the notch. Tilt the assembly up to a vertical position, orienting the socket properly. Drive the V-Lock anchor in only about halfway. Using the level, check for plumb in both directions on the stub or thick leg angle, adjusting if necessary. If you are installing a clean-out bar model, tilt the anchor a few degrees toward the V-Lock's rounded nose because the bar will push the anchor back to plumb when fully driven. Drive the V-Lock socket in just to the bottom of the fins. Check again for plumb with the level on each face of the thick leg angle or stub. Re-plumb if needed, then drive in the anchor until the top of the V-Lock is flush or slightly below the soil surface. Use the clean-out trowel to remove material inside the socket to a depth of at least 7 inches. Insert your post or support into the V-Lock socket. Abut it to the thick leg angle. Make sure the sign or other attached device is or will be properly aligned. Making sure its extractor hole is nearest the top, insert the V-Lock wedge into the socket at a slight angle. Hammer the wedge in with a small sledge until it is flush with the top of the V-Lock. If you have any questions or you'd like more information on V-Lock anchoring systems or other traffic control devices, please check out TAPCO's website at www.tapconet.com or contact us toll free at 800-236-0112. We look forward to helping you take the fast lane to your traffic safety solutions.